Well, 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 welcome everybody to Jurassic World Alive. Uh, it has been, I think this is the first video we're making on Jurassic World Alive this year in 2024. We didn't cover, I don't think at all in January. And the reason I'm covering it right now is because you've probably read the title or whatever. I was hacked. I went in. I mean, I have been playing this uh, to do tournaments and just keep up and do the dailies. And over the weekend, I went to log in and I was greeted with a brand new account, which I thought was weird, but it's it's not the first time this has happened. Like I sometimes I'll log in and it'll be like, oh, you want to start again? I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> of course not. I know you want me to spend even more and get back up to where I was, Jam City. But anyway, so I uh, went through the tutorial, which is a right pain in the ass. The only way to not do that is to uninstall the game and redo it. So I did the tutorial. I went into uh, like the sync thing, like log, like connect with your accounts or whatever. Did that. Didn't make a single difference. So then I'm starting to be a bit worried. Uh, like I can't get in and... You know, you guys know, if you you know the series, I've spent real money on this game. And I luckily, I'm in a position where I can contact people at Jurassic World Alive. So I did. And they messaged me back the same day. Very good. They said, oh, we see that you're actually on right now and you've changed your name. I went, what? Rans Q is my name. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Someone, someone hacked my account and called themselves RansQ. Changed it. Changed my name. Uh, I, I don't even know if I can change my name back. Uh, I could change that. I can change my title. But I don't know how they did it. But they changed my name. Gaming Beaver is dead. No longer. R.I.P. Can we get some sad music? But if you close your Emotional ballot. Yeah, uh, I, I am from here on forth. I am the gaming RansQ. Oh, just always why known as RansQ is my new name. Uh, so they got my account. They changed the name, but they didn't change the picture. They didn't change the title. They just wanted to, uh, you know, be RansQ with this account. So the question is, if somebody, I don't know how they did it. I'm asking Jam City how they managed to do this because... For those of you that have stuck with me for a long time, you'll know that this isn't the first time I've been hacked or a Ludia account of mine has been hacked. I lost my Jurassic World, the game account, and they sold a bunch of dinosaurs. They had more malicious intent than this person did. Uh, so Ludia, of course, reimbursed me. And I was going to assume they did say, check to make sure that nothing's missing. And I was like, okay, I'll check. And I don't think they have touched any resources at all. They had access to my account, they had access to everything I had. I mean, they can't get rid of dinosaurs. That's not something you could do. But you could waste coin leveling up something rubbish. You could level get level 30 Parasaurolophus or Irritator or something. And you could spend all my bucks on, I don't know, uh, really stupid incubators. Now, because the way that money's connected, I'm pretty sure it's to your iPad or whatever device you use. So they couldn't actually spend my real money, even though they've got access to the account. So that wasn't a problem. So they didn't spend my bucks. They didn't use my coin. What did the people who hacked my account do with the couple of days that they had with my account? Because obviously this is my account, now I have it back. Well, what they did is they did daily missions. They did achievements. They, they got all of this up to level 23 and didn't collect any of it. They were like, I'm, I'm gonna do your missions, dude. And I'm gonna let you take this stuff. So <laughs> I was really surprised by this. Not only that, what would you do, right? If I mean, I would assume if someone's hacking into my account, it's either two types of people. Either they, they want to just like waste all of the resources and just like troll the account or the second option, which is what this person did. They just played. They did the Isla event. It is all completed. Your opponent's levels are scaled up, whatever. As you can see, it's the first time I'm opening it. They completed it. They, they got to the very end. They did the final boss. 
They did this thing. Mission complete. They got all the DNA for me. I don't know how they did this. I don't know if this was a really tough um, assault to do, but I just think it's kind of hilarious that they had access to all my stuff. The clan. They had access to, um, you know, this. And they didn't delete the clan. They didn't kick anyone. In fact, people in my alliance even noticed. Here we go. One day ago. I already did. And did the game maybe change his name? Yeah, he is now Razku. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> so, I mean, if anything, I, they. you know what? Not only did they do that, but they also did the tournament. I was expecting the worst. I was like, okay, right, I'm going to lose all my bucks and my coin. But, you know, I would assume that Ludia, sorry, Gem City, would reimburse me for it because it was a hack. And obviously that's a fault on their part that I lost the account. It also raises the question as to, again, with Jurassic Park Builder. Do you remember when, you know, people had spent money on the game and yet when the game closed down, Jurassic Park Builder that is, we got nothing for it. Nothing to show all the money lost. And it's something to also be aware of in this game. You could either be hacked, you could be banned, or the game will eventually, let's be honest, because they will, they will eventually be discontinued. And when that happens, you will lose all the money that you've put into it. And I think that's something as I've gotten older, I've realized like, actually, maybe no. <laughs> actually, you know, I spent real money on a, on a tangible thing. This microphone or those friggin' plants behind me, I spent money on that. And I will have that for as long as I have it. No one is going to just randomly come to my house and take it. Well, they could have. I got robbed, obviously. But you know what I mean? I I'm not just, I'm not going to wake up and it's going to disappear for no reason other than someone decided, well, it's gone now. Um, so... And of course, this leads back into, this is the first video I'm doing on this game this year. What, well, actually, hold on before we do that. What else did he do? Well, I had a bunch of creatures ready to be created. Ever since I decided to stop recording the game, I had, like, I had this much. Like, all of that you see on the screen was to be made, basically. It was the new Omegas. It was everything like that. So if we go by rarity, um, I think he didn't even level up. He, yeah, look, level one, level one, level one, level one, level one. He basically just created all of them, but didn't level them. He never spent any coin. He created them, uh, and that was it. But I had these all saved for, you know, a video if I was to come back and be like, creating all of the Omegas. Or at least, you know, to, when you create them, you get a cool background behind them. It's good for thumbnails, basically. So I was like, okay, if that ever happens. But I mean, unfortunately, he did create them, but he didn't level any of them up. So I suppose whoever hacked into my account um, had no malicious intent. They also, like like the T-Rex, the Kenny T-Rex, I never made this thing either. Oh, sorry, Mattel T-Rex 2023. Uh, copyright. Just wait till Mattel loses the license. This thing will disappear. Because we saw it with the Brawler Souls in Jurassic World the game. It's only... Mattel... This T-Rex is only going to be around for as long as the Mattel... Oh, sorry, as Mattel holds the Jurassic license. Just like the Brawler Souls with Hasbro and Jurassic World the game. Gone. So, I mean, that's not going to happen for a while, I don't think. There's still plans for a new Jurassic World movie in 2025. Director's already been uh, put out there. So, but you never know. This T-Rex... And that's the thing. If it does disappear, all the level, all the money that you put into it, is it just going to go? Are you going to get a refund? Is, is Are they going to do that for you? I don't know. Anyway, so back to the original point I was making before I got sidetracked, which is, why haven't I covered the game? I just don't find it fun. And that's it. Um, and it, I don't think I'm the only one. I've had loads of other people say that they, oh, I've noticed on Discord groups, uh, even just messaging me in my previous video where I kind of touched upon it at the end that I just don't find this game fun anymore. It doesn't, it doesn't spark that joy. And I don't know when that vanished. I think with the metas that kept on appearing, it was kind of getting that way. Um, and the fact is I was logging in and I still do it. I get my dailies and everything like that. And I, um, you know, because the thing is, in my alliance, people still want to play. So I do want to keep on doing the takedowns. I want to help and support the people who do want to. And of course, if something new comes out for Jurassic World, they're going to put this, in, you know, that new dinosaur in this game. 
So I would need to be able, I need to play it in order to get that new creature when it comes out. But generally, the the fun that I have with the game, it's not the battling. And the battling is 90% of the game. Starting's 10%, and collecting's like barely anything, let's be honest. Um, so the reason, that's basically the main reason is that I just haven't been enjoying it. Um, it, it's ever since they've added the Omegas and they did not stop adding the Omegas. It got absolutely ludicrous. They made Omegas and boosts just ludicrous. Now, you not only do you have attack, health, speed, crit, armor, and now crit damage, which in, in itself sounds complicated enough. No, you've also got boosts on top of that. And not only do you have that, you have in, in sorry, <laughs> enhancements. You, the higher level it is, the more you can dolly up the things. You evolve and you get new things. Basically, it's all a pay to win because the, the more resources you have, the more resources you put into the game, the better your rewards are. So if you spend thousands and thousands and thousands, like I, actually I did spend thousands on this game and I nowhere near anywhere the whales are. Uh, if you're the best player in the game, you do a tournament, like you know, you enter these ones, you get the best. Oh, there it is. See? Collect. I did it. So, and also there it is. I think the last one, or at least it was the second one. Yeah, cash tournament. They did it. They got 1,200. And you can see what I normally get. 700, 800, 700, 800. 1,200. They played for a lot. They were loving playing with my account. <laughs> they were like, yeah, I've got dinosaurs. Here. Anyway, anyway. Um, so we'll just collect this. Uh, Rand's Q if you are watching, which you, I assume you are. That's your reward. Well done. <laughs> you were the nicest hacker that... Oh, oh God, my chair is falling apart. Remember the Rexy debacle we had? They added Rexy into the game. And it felt like it was a pay-to-win creature. Because it kind of was. It was very good. It had something that could instantly have priority and kill flocks, which was the new meta at the time. And then they added Tyrannometrodon. And it felt like, okay, this thing's way OP and you need Rexy to make it, so it's even harder to get, and it's even better than Rexy, technically, depending on how it's used. But not only that, then they added the Schooner Metrodon, which had uh, freaking, uh, you know, icons that looked like a complete mess. It was, it's still, I think, kind of OP, and it's just, you know, there's another thing created with another thing and another thing. And the only reason they do this is not rule of cool, because look at this thing. It's got its brains ex exploding out the top of its head. It doesn't look cool at all. It looks kind of goofy. This thing looks way cooler than that. And I, if I'm honest, Rexy kind of looks cool better than that anyway, because I kind of like dinosaurs that don't look like they've got a million and one uh, Frankenstein projects going on. But anyway, <laughs> uh, and then... And then they added, uh, I mean, we need to scroll down a million years because that's another problem this game has is oversaturation of dinosaurs. And now we've got Omegas and that's making it 10 times worse. We've got these guys. We've got this new thing, which takes the Turamolok and a new creature and puts them together. And not only that, but this thing, which was, right, okay. Already, Panther of Blythe was a kind of crazy creature. You get level 30. Then they gave it a hybrid, making that thing kind of crazy. Then they gave it another hybrid, which is the same thing we've seen with the Tyranno, uh, the T-Rex hybrid, and I'm just kind of sick of it. It's it's very obvious that it's they're just making it a thing because it's hard to get. The, the, the ingredients are hard to get. It's a grind to get it. They're, they're putting things in the game that are grindy just to waste your time to get them because you need to get them if you want the good prizes. But you know who's getting them? It's not the people who, you know, kind of want to try something new, test something. It's the people that spend thousands in the game, hundreds a month, if that. Um, and they're the ones that have the ability to get them and to test them. You're probably 10%, if that, maybe less of players, I don't have the numbers, but I would assume are, have this thing unlocked. Maybe you can say it's just a thing to... Maybe it's... Oh, it makes the whales spend even more. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be them. I'm not using it. I'm happy having fun. But I mean, the whole point is to get higher in the ranks, right? That's the whole reason why battles are a thing. I don't know. I don't know. And you got like the Sinoceratops. That's got another thing. And I'm, I'm, I'm kind of done. And it's a shame that, the, you know, I'm coming back to this game and like, oh, the hack, you know, I got hacked. The hacker wasn't that bad. Also, Ludia helped me. Oh, sorry, Gem City helped me get the account back, which is great. But the overall message is, I don't like the game. <laughs>
<laughs> it's not a slight on Jump City or, you know, their, their PR team or whatever, the communication, because they've been great. Um, it's it's a slight on the game, I think. Maybe it is Jump City, I don't know. Uh, but the way they're just orchestrating the game. And I just, I just can't. I can't. Uh, I have often times thought to myself, maybe I should make a video. Maybe I should make a video saying, it's done. You know, uh, I did it with Jurassic Park Builder because it, the game was put offline. I did a little tribute video. I, you know, because I spent, it's what got my channel to start. I spent a long time in it. And it felt, I, I, you know, I was kind of sad that it was going because that's a part of my and the channel's history that will never be able to play to, uh, be played again. However, I know there's a new one being made, a recreation. I, I have seen it. Uh, I'm okay. <laughs> it, it lives in my head. I don't need to see it again. It felt like Jurassic World Alive was going to be one of those games. I would play it until the end, until it was discontinued, and I'd be like, well, I lost all my money, but at least I had a good time, I suppose. I felt like I should make a video where actually, no. I I don't have to be committed to the game. If the, if the game goes a direction that I don't like, I could just stop and be like, nope, not doing this anymore. But then I thought to myself, why do that? Because if something cool comes out for the game, or they add a new creature, or they change it for the better, then I can come back to it anytime. But if I've made a video like that, I can't, because I'm like, well, I'm not playing it anymore. And that was a year ago, and now I'm playing it again. It's like, well, what? why do that? So it's, it's a soft stop to Jurassic World Alive. I was hacked. I got my account back. I'm grateful. Um, I will continue to play it, but there will not be videos on the channel. Uh, I've decided, I think, it's time, I guess, for the channel to maybe evolve a little bit. In a way, I do want to cover this game. I do want to, you know, cover the, the, the coolest new things. But the game doesn't, or sorry, this game in particular, won't let me. Because it's PvP focused. So Ludia aren't, sorry, I'm <laughs> silly, aren't going to give me the new creature because then I'll use it, I, you know, to use it, I'll use it against real people and that's unfair. So by making the game PvP, pay to win, they've taken away the sort of thing they can have with their content creators, the relationship. Um, you know, I think they, they do give me codes to try out new things early, like a test build. I've seen that every now and again in my inbox. But what's the point of me testing it if I can't then use it in my actual game? It's like, oh, this thing's really cool. Look at all the stuff you can do. Wish I could have it. <laughs> you know, like, what's the point? Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I don't want to keep you too much longer. It's been like 20 minutes already. I apologize. Go, go, go do some short form content. You get loads more. Anyway, um, but yeah, I just wanted to fill in anyone who has wondered where Just World Live has been uh, and what was going on with my name. I, that's my new name is Ransky. I like that, Ransky. I, apparently, I don't even think I can change it, so that's cool. Uh, <laughs> I'll see if I can, but uh, yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on Jurassic World Alive. Um, you can call this the soft end of Jurassic World Alive for now. I still play it um, because that's I enjoy helping and being an alliance, and I, of course, when new dinosaurs come out, I kind of want to try them, if I can, that is. If they're not just complete pay to wins. Uh, like, no doubt, I'm sure the new creatures are in incubators. Oh, wait, there they are. <laughs> oh, wait, there's the other one. There that one is too. In fact, is this one a hybrid? Yes. Also, before we go, sorry for the 5% of you that are still here. I've got a bone to pick with this game. Here's your reward. We have so much time and effort put into all these different creatures. They've got like kind of realistic looking fur on some of them. And yet one of the newest creatures to come out is this. What? What is this? This is an Allosaurus from Jurassic World Alive. Barely changed in the same game. It looks like it's from Jurassic World the game. You might say that Sinraptor looked like that and maybe it did. But come on, you've got dinosaurs that look realistic and look so good. Look at the level of detail on the thing. It's awesome. And you've also got some really interesting look like the Godzilla Rex thing. And then you just get... Who designed this one? I want words. I want names. <laughs> Who designed this? Because it is just Alice. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go freaking alphabetical. 
Give me an Allosaurus. It's the same. You just change the head a little bit. You I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are. If you are a Jurassic World Alive player, you've played it for a long time, how has your thoughts on the game changed to now from the beginning? Or if you're a new player to the game, because I can't imagine starting Jurassic World Alive now and seeing the, the amount of dinosaurs you have to go through to get good because that must be daunting. That, I, I, I couldn't. I'd be like, uh, this is going to take me how long to get that? And I also, I wonder if maybe it's better that way, actually, to go from nothing. And every time you're just getting more and more things. Uh, whereas if you've been at the top and all of a sudden they're just moving the ceiling up, then it feels bad. It's like, well, I'll never get there. And you know you'll never get there because as soon as you get there, it'll be lifted again. Anyway, I don't know. New Blast Shores is a long way off and I, I can't get there anymore. And I was there at one point and it kind of sucked. And I felt like at one point I could be quite strategical with the dinosaurs I was facing and now I can't be. Anyway, I don't know. Uh, uh, long enough. Uh, that was an extra five minutes. I apologize. Anyway, guys, love you. See you later. Bye. <laughs>